You know, what's the Lord saying? So I get up and I don't know what I was prophesying. I can't remember now. But the Spirit of God came on me and I begin to prophesy. I begin to shake. And all of a sudden, you know, I typically have my eyes closed. Otherwise, you get a headache, actually. You know, talk about a whirlwind. You know, anyway, so I, 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 I'm just prophesying away. And all of a sudden, I feel my tooth coming out. And I don't know how I did it. I was like, shoo, 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 you know. And I... I was like, I caught it coming out of my mouth. And I caught it in my hand. Oh, yeah, you know. And so, and I stick it back in and I, okay. I, just, uh, I, don't, I, I just ended the prophetic word and stuck it in. So I phoned the, this is unusual, you know. And so, and so I said, I, I began to inquire of the Lord. Lord, what do you say? So I, I Google tooth falling out. And, and, and so this is before 2020. The, and, and I Google tooth. First thing that comes up, tooth falling out means transition. Buenos dias. Que tal, mis amigos? Welcome to my channel. Please support your local food bank, Drug and Alcohol Center. So if you're new to my channel, I am an outreach worker. Six days a week, I advocate for people on the street, mental health, addictions, and poverty. Today, and on my free time, right, on my free time, I do social media videos. In fact, that's how I support my ministry outreach. Thank you to my friends praying and encouraging me online. And I don't ask you for money, but I do ask you to like my video. Click. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to look at Stacey Campbell because she just came out with a new video two days ago. We're going to look at it. Where she's claiming that she was shaking like this. And all of a sudden, her, she's losing her tooth. Her tooth. Her denture falls out. And so in midair, she's got her eyes closed. She's getting, she catches it in midair. Right? she puts it back in her mouth so and then of course she inquired of the lord what does it mean because her, she lost her two three day, three times and one of the times that she was doing this she caught she caught in midair and then put it back in her mouth she's very excited i don't know what's more incredible is that she did it with her eyes closed anyways um she inquired of the lord and of course the next step was to Google what does your, your tooth falling out mean. So we'll look at that. This is a video it just came out March 3rd, which is two days ago. All right, let's get into it. This tension and this volatility. The first year, uh, right before in 2018 or 2019, um, I, I, I was I was getting ready to, I was flying from one city to the other, and on the plane, I'm just reading, I'm not eating, I'm reading my Bible, and all of a sudden, my tooth falls out of my mouth. I have a veneer on this, uh, this one tooth, and it just fell off, and I'm, I'm like, I, I watch it fall onto my Bible or my, my tray, and I pick it up, and I stick it back in, and I, I mean, because when it's not in, I look like Jack Sparrow. I mean, you know, I'm like, I look like a pirate. And so I'm like, I stick back in and I kind of talk to people. Like, Hi, how you doing? And so I go, you know, the first thing in Monday morning, this was Sunday afternoon, I go uh, first thing Monday morning to the, uh, the, the council. And I'm so embarrassed that I, 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 I'm trying to talk to people. And I said, I'm just got to find a dentist. So I go and I'm looking for dentists all around. So I go to a dentist. I find a dentist. She takes me in in the afternoon, and um, uh, she, you know, and I said it just fell out. But I happened to have the veneer, so she could fix it. So she's grinding the the thing, and she's, you know, putting the glue on, and you know, whatever it has to they have to do to fix the tooth. And she fixes it, and I go back to the ACP in the afternoon. I went to the dentist at lunch, and Cindy said, Stacy, oh, we haven't heard from you yet. You know, what's the Lord saying? So I get up, and I don't know what I was prophesying. I can't remember now, but the Spirit of God came on me, and I begin to prophesy. I begin to shake, and all of a sudden, you know, I typically have my eyes closed, otherwise you get a headache, actually. You know, talk about a whirlwind, you know. Anyway, so I, 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 I'm just prophesying prophesying away and all of a sudden I feel my tooth coming out and I don't know how I did it. I was like shoo 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 you know and I I was like I caught it coming out of my mouth 
And I caught it in my hand. Oh, yeah, you know. And so, and I stick it back in. And I, okay. I, said, uh, uh, I, know, I, I just ended the prophetic word and stuck it in. So I phoned the dentist. And now she's embarrassed, you know, that it falls out within an hour. So she takes me back after, you know, that happened just before she closes. And she, this time she really grinds it, you know. And she's grinding and gluing and pushing and everything, out, ah, you know, at the dentist. And so I think all is well. So I fly to New Zealand, uh, no, to Australia, to this super prophetic group. And as I'm uh, flying to uh, Australia, my tooth falls out again. Three times my tooth falls out. Now, I'm slow, but suddenly I go, maybe the Lord's trying to say something. <laughs> This is unusual, you know? And so, so I said, I, I began to inquire of the Lord. Lord, what do you say? So I, I Google tooth falling out. And, and, and so this is before 2020. The, and, and I Google tooth. First thing that comes up, tooth falling out means transition. That we're All right. We're going to go back because she said quite a few things in there that we now know that when she's prophesying, she keeps her eyes closed. She caught the, the, the denture in midair. It fell out three times. And then she said she acquired the Lord. I want to, let's look at that first and we'll go back and break this down a little bit. So let's go back a few minutes here. Let's see here, let's see. Because when I heard that, Cindy Jacobs. And Cindy said, Stacy, oh, we haven't heard from you yet. You know, what's the Lord saying? So I get up and I don't know what I was prophesying. I can't remember now. But the Spirit of God came on me and I begin to prophesy. I begin to shake. And all of a sudden, you know, I typically have my eyes closed. Otherwise, you'd get you get a headache, actually. Did you catch that? She typically has her eyes closed, 27, 28, which is true because on the Internet. Fire! people who have desire from the inside out. I am not looking for the wise men. I am not looking for the rich men. I am looking for the passionate man, the passionate woman. I am not looking for the young man or the old man. I am looking for those who have desire. And I am coming to arouse desire, to awaken desire. The flashes, the fire, they're coming out of my throat. They're coming to consume flashes. A fire lightnings from the center of the throne. Just Show the screen. I just don't know if there's dozens of them, dozens and dozens and dozens, where she goes into these convulsions, shaking violently. She does. She keeps her eyes closed, which makes this story quite remarkable that she's shaking violently with, and in one hand, she's got the microphone, right? And she has her eyes closed, and all of a sudden, her denture pops out and shoom. She catches it in midair. So comment below. Is that even possible? I don't believe it's possible. Comment below. Do you think that it's possible to be shaking like that? And all of a sudden, catch it in midair, put it back in. The dentist at lunch and Cindy said. And Cindy said, Stacy, oh, we haven't heard from you yet. You know, what's the Lord saying? So I get up and I don't know what I was prophesying. I can't remember now. But the spirit of God came on me and I begin to prophesy. I begin to shake. And all of a sudden, you know, I typically have my eyes closed. Otherwise, you did you see that? She said she her, typically she had her eyes closed. Otherwise, you get a headache. Right. You know. You can, you're going to hurt your neck. She's shaking like that crazy. I think a headache would be the least of her problems. She needs a chiropractor. A headache, actually. You know, talk about a whirlwind, you know. Anyway, so I, 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 I'm just prophesying away. And all of a sudden, I feel my tooth coming out. And I don't know how I did it. I was like, shoo, 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 you know. And I, I was like, I caught it coming out. Did you see that? So she, she's going crazy. She's got her eyes closed and she's, she's like, Shoo! she catches it in midair. 
Wow. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing story. I don't believe it for a second. I don't believe it for a second. My mouth. And I caught it in my head. Oh, yeah, you know, and so, and I stick it back in and I, okay. I was in, uh, uh. So she did. She caught it. Eyes closed, shaking. Shoom, caught it. Zoom. Put it in. All right. No, I, I just ended the prophetic word and stuck it in. You know, it's interesting. She ended the prophetic word, stuck it back in, and then she phoned the dentist. So I phoned the dentist, and now she's embarrassed, you know, that it falls out within an hour. So she takes me back after, you know, that happened just before she closes, and she, this time she really grinds it. She's quite entertaining. You can see she gets a, she's very humorous. I've watched Stacey before. She's got lots of stories. Very entertaining, and... Um, and she's grinding and glue. She's a professional. She travels over the world to different churches and she's sought after. She's probably booked up this year. People enjoy listening to her. And pushing and everything. Ah, you know, at the dentist. And so I think all is well. So I fly to New Zealand. Uh, no, to Australia, to this super prophetic group. And as I'm uh, flying to uh, Australia, my tooth falls out again. Now, she didn't say whether or not she caught it at that time. Three times my tooth falls out. Now, I'm slow, but suddenly I go, maybe the Lord's trying to say something. Did you see something? So the omen interpretation, that's what we're looking at in this video. Omen interpretation, interpreting omens. Her tooth falling out, maybe the Lord's trying to say something. This is unusual, so watch this. This is unusual, you know? And so... Uh, so I said, I began to... Well, I said, I, I began to inquire of the... Inquire of the Lord. All right, now, let, now we're going to get serious because this is Samuel. All right, praise the Lord. We're going to read the Bible. We'll come back to this in a second. Inquire of the Lord. Now, when I saw that... I love the Bible. I, now, if you're new to my channel, I am third generation Pentecostal. I'm with the Charismaticals. I invented the Charismatical Word. That's mine. And, um, you know, God works today. Absolutely believe right, in the spiritual gifts found in Corinthians 12. Now, saying that, there is a false prophetic in the land. There is a false prophetic. Now, I don't know, if you're a new Christian, you may not have heard this. This is a man named Samuel when he was a little kid. Just a little kid, and God chose to speak through this little kid to Eli. Eli was the big head honcho. He was the he was in charge of the church at the time. At that time, Eli, who he was an old guy, right? Eyesight. And Samuel, by the way, went on to anoint King Saul and then King David. But this is when he was a little kid. Anyways, Samuel, right here. The Lord called Samuel and he said, "Here I am." And he ran to Eli and said, "Here I am, for you called me." But he says. I did not call you. Lay down again. So Eli's like, Samuel, go, go, go lay down, kid. All right? I didn't call you. So he went and lay down. The Lord said, the Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, my son. Lay down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. And the word of the Lord had yet not been revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. And Eli's like, Listen, go sleeping. <laughs> perceive. Okay, so Eli said, Perceive the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, Go lay down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and laid down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called, stood called as at the other time, Samuel, Samuel, and Samuel said, Speak, for your servant hears. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel in which the two ears of everyone who hears it will tingle. And that day I will fulfill Eli all that I have spoken concerning his house from the beginning to end. And I declare to him that I am about to punish his house forever. This is judgment on the old religious False prophetic, false religious system. Is a young guy, and God's like, yep, everything's changing. And that's what we need. True revival, true 
reformation in the church with the internet we need a true men and true women of god to proclaim the true gospel of salvation all this witchcraft that's being brought into the church omen interpretation horoscopes grave sucking and this is what it is god says and I will declare to him, I'm about to punish the house forever for the iniquity that he knew because his sons were blaspheming God. It's interesting that as soon as I saw, I had gone to inquire the Lord. Lord, what do you say? So I got what am I, what are you saying? So I Googled it. It's the first thing that popped into my mind was Samuel and Eli. Eli could not hear from God anymore. If Eli was alive today, and his tooth popped out three times and he caught it midair, would he Google the interpretation of that omen? Because God stopped speaking to Eli. His sons were blaspheming God and he did not restrain them. Therefore, I swear the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be atoned for, but sacrifice offering forever. Samuel laid until morning, then he opened it, the doors of the house of the Lord. And this is, this is the sad. And Samuel was afraid to tell his vision to Eli. But Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son, and said to him, here I am. And Eli said, you see that? This is what's sad. What was it that he told you? You know? God uses men and women, unnamed people in the body of Christ. You know, God chooses who he, who he uses in ministry. It's his ministry. It's his church. It's his bride. And in this case, God chose a little boy to speak to and rejected the religious system. Do not hide from me. What, what was it that he told you? He, God uses the simple things in this world to confound the wisdom of the wise. Do not hide it from me. May God do so to you. And more also, if you hide anything from me, all of all that he told you. So Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. It is the Lord. Let him do what he seems good to him. So Eli recognized that he got a message from God, but it, God wasn't speaking to him anymore. It was Samuel. And Samuel, Samuel, <laughs> Samuel is a hero of the faith. And uh, I love the Bible. All right. So she inquired of the Lord. Her tooth pops out. And of course, God didn't say anything to Stacey Campbell, the false prophetess. So she Googled it. 27 and we're going to look at omens in this in this uh, video as well I don't want to take her to context so i phoned the dentist and now she's embarrassed you know that it falls out within an hour so she takes me back after you know that happened just before she closes and she this time she really grinds it you know and she's grinding and gluing and pushing and everything out, ah, you know at the dentist and so i think all is well so i fly to new zealand uh, no, to Australia, to this super prophetic group. And as I'm uh, flying to uh, Australia, my tooth falls out again. Three times my tooth falls out. Now, I'm slow, but suddenly I go, maybe the Lord's trying to say something. <laughs> this is unusual, you know. And so, and so I said, I, I began to inquire of the Lord. Lord, what do you say? So I, I Google tooth falling out. And, and, and so this is before 2020. The, and, and I Google tooth. First thing that comes up, tooth falling out means transition. Transition. That we're going into something completely different. And that when I, when I was a child, I spake as a child, you know, that, that children lose their teeth. But when, they, uh, when they, their permanent teeth come in, you know, it's this time of transition when they're moving from immaturity to maturity. There's another level that God wants the body of Christ to reach, and it's a whole thing of transition. But you know. So that was the interpretation. Now, why didn't Stacy pick up her Bible? And Timothy says, all scripture God breathed, useful for teaching, rebuking, and correcting in righteousness. This is Timothy 3.16. So the man of God be thoroughly equipped for every good work. We got a real problem. 
because Stacy's losing her tooth three times, what's the interpretation? What is God trying to say to her? Why didn't she open up her Bible and find out the omen interpretation of her tooth falling out? Because it's not in the Bible. Well, it is in the Bible. It's actually found in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 18. Now, how bad is it to take your little children and sacrifice them to Moloch in a burnt sacrifice? Pretty bad. How bad is it to perform necromancy? Pretty bad. Let me see here. I like ESV. Um, how bad is it to do a seance? Pretty bad. How about worshiping idols? Pretty bad. How about interpreting your tooth falling out three times on a Google website? It's pretty bad. All right. Deuteronomy 18. Abominable practices. If you want to be an abomination to God, read omens. When you come into the land the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of those nations. There shall be not found among you anyone who burns his son or daughter in an offering. Pretty bad. Anyone who practice divination, tells fortunes, or interprets omens. That's what this is. The prophetic meaning. What's God saying with Stacey Campbell's teeth falling out? Or a sorcerer, or a charmer, or a medium, or a necromancer who inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord. Now, here's, I love the Bible. Here's a promise that we have in the Bible. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The God of the Old Testament is the God of the New Testament. We'll look at the New Testament today. Actually, we're going to look at Jesus today in Matthew 24. But here's a promise for you and for me. And I put all my hope in this. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God is driving them out before you. Do you see that? It says here, because of these abominations, the Lord your God is driving them out before you. There's a refining fire with the false prophetic that's happening right now over the world. For an example, Mike Bickle and IHOP. Right? God is exposing the false prophetic right now. I see it very clearly. All right, tooth. All right, two spirits. The two spirit astrology, numerology, dreams and tarot cards. All right, so dreams and tarot. Okay, so here it is. Teeth falling out, dream meaning interpretation, and more. We're looking for transition. Let me see here. Let me go back this up here. Teeth falling out dreams. How do we dream about teeth falling out? Transition. Depression, death, personal reference between... So this is the interpretation of the tooth falling out. What does it mean when you dream teeth? We're looking for transition. All right, done with it. You know what? It's... I don't know where she came up with that idea on Google, but teeth falling out. You know, if I look long enough, I'm sure I could find the word transition here somewhere. But the point of this video is that you get, when you find, you're going to find the scorpion. You know, it's interesting in this go in here in Canada. I'm in Canada. Here in Canada, we have horoscope interpretation. The app, the Capricorn half fish, half gold Capricorn symbol is it actually it signifies Isaiah 53 by his stripes. You are healed. The age of Aquarius water bearer represents the Holy Spirit. The crab represents the church. And of course, it's all occultism that is being brought into the false prophetic. We know that using horoscopes or, or omens or necromancy or sorcery or witchcraft is an abomination to God. Last Bible verse, and we're done with this video, is Matthew 24, 24. 
I want to show you something. Then I got to hit the street. Matthew 24, 24 says, For false Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus the anointed, Christos in the Greek. So false anointed, false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonder to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. That is Jesus. Matthew 24, 24. All right? They are targeting you online, on social media, claiming that they are the special anointed ones. They're the ones that have the ability to interpret their teeth falling out because they Googled it. And they are shaking, giving false prophecy. They are a false prophetic. The Holy Spirit doesn't make you do... The Holy Spirit would never come upon you to give a false prophecy. All right. It's an abomination to God. Divination, fortune telling, and reading omens. Last Bible verse. Because right here we have great signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect. Matthew 20. I'll just quote it. Matthew. It's easier for me to quote scripture. Well, I'll read it. Matthew. What is that? Matthew. Second Thessalonians 2. The coming of the lawless one is the activity of Satan with all power and lying wonder. All power and false signs, some translations will say lying, false signs and lying wonders, with all wicked deception for those who are perishing. So here we have Satan with all power and false signs and wonders. And Jesus said, great signs and wonders. So the false prophetic, false signs and wonders, lying wonders, great signs and wonders. This is the false prophetic to lead astray. And that's what the, that's the position of a false prophet is to lead you into omen interpretation, into the graveyard for necromancy or grave sucking is what they call it. It's on my website. If you haven't checked out my website. In the false prophetic, it's rampant right now. You don't have to become a cessationist to understand that, for an example, necromancy is an abomination to God. And that's Ben Lim. That's uh, Benny Hinn. If you haven't watched these videos, it's on my website. That's Sean Foyt. Laying on the tombstones for mental interpretation. Omen interpretation, necromancy is... You'll always find, whenever you see somebody laying on a tombstone to suck the anointing power off the dead, you'll find omen interpretation. The license plate, odometer readers... The Super Bowl prophecy, the 2020 is double blessing, open door, double door, new beginnings, purple sunshine. The Because of the football coaches, players, coaches, all right, you'll find it. Georgina Ambina laying on tombstones for mantle powers. I named Bill Johnson, the false prophetic. And this is on my website if you'd like to go watch it. And since we're already here, I also have a tab for IHOP KC resignations. Um, keeping everyone in IHOP in prayer right now. And um, the angel feathers. The angel, the, Bill Johnson saying the angels are losing their feathers. And uh, I have been documenting it on my website. And if you'd like to know more about my street outreach, you can go check me out here as well. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless you. Keep you strong in the faith. And remember, Brother John loves you.